Let's take it back a moment to another important person in my life. It was around 2010, so I was in about eighth grade, when whispers started happening that Kristen was talking to a boy. So the first encounter that I actually had hearing about Jeremy was that she wanted to show me a picture of a cute boy that she knew. So I said, sure, I mean, let's, let's take a look. So when she showed me the picture, I, she asked me what I thought. She's like, do you think he's cute? And so I gave her a thumbs up and I said, go for it. <laughs> so who would have thought that 11 years later that they would be sitting here, husband and wife? Kristen, the past 12 years have been the most incredible journey and there is no one else I would have rather had by my side. As I had the honor to watch you grow to be the incredible person you are, you have also made me into the man you are marrying today. And I couldn't be more thankful. I know there is no one in this world luckier than me that I will soon have the honor and privilege of calling you my best friend, my wife. Our journey to this day has been literally life-changing and I can't even imagine what the rest of our lives will bring. But knowing that you and I will go through it together, hand in hand, brings me more happiness than I could ever express. I love you more than you'll ever know. I love you, you know who. So sweet. Dear Jeremy, the day is finally here. After all our dreaming and planning, we will finally be husband and wife today. It truly feels surreal to be saying this after over 10 years of being your girlfriend and two years of being your fiance. I'm so ready and so excited for the title upgrade to wife. You consistently amaze me with your ability to unconditionally love others, even when it hasn't always been demonstrated back to you in the past. You love wholeheartedly and take care of others so well and I cannot wait to continue returning this love to you through our lives. As you know, I've worked very hard throughout my life and have accomplished a variety of tasks and titles that have made me proud. But out of everything, I truly feel the most honored to gain the title of your wife and become Mrs. Santiago. I cannot wait to take on life with you. Here's to our newest and most exciting adventure of all, marriage. Your soon-to-be wife, Kristen. As opposed to telling you story after story about our happy couple, instead, I've come up with a little poem to kind of put a bow on a few of my thoughts this evening and to help usher us into the night ahead. Roses are red and violets are blue. You think you know where this is going? It might just be true. We're all gathered here today for celebration and for cheers. Good God, have we waited for this moment for years. Thanks again to all of you for joining us here in Chicago, and thank you to this athletic association for wonderfully hosting the wedding Santiago. Now, when I was a boy, when I was much younger, I often wondered, what would it be like to have a brother? You know, someone who's tough, someone that tussles, someone that literally is bent in oven pan with some force in his muscles, but also someone steadfast, someone that's kind. Lucky for me, it's been a very long time since that thought crossed my mind. As for having a sister, I was blessed with not one, but two. Since today is about Kristen, Katie, I'll bid you adieu. <laughs> All the accomplishments you've attained, each day helping patients to aspire. Kristen, you are without a doubt a person I truly admire. Your passion's always genuine, and your aim's always true. Though designer items are something you do tend to accrue. 
But if there's one thing sisters teach you, it's the strength in caring. Be it for people, things, or details, you both show me that our hearts are worth sharing. In this world ever-changing, this everyday life so unstable, you both show me that true love isn't just for fairy tales or fable. With some holiday spirit in the air and with joy as our guiding light, cheers to the newlyweds. Let's all have an amazing night. a long time ago boyfriends and girlfriends will come and go but best friends last forever I can truly tell you Julie is my best friend there is nothing that I want to experience without her and I am so so happy that Kristen found her best friend and married her best friend so I'd like to offer up a toast to Kristen and Jeremy Congratulations, Kristen and Jeremy. We love you.